The nascent Koja community at the turn of the 20th century was well served by local preachers, fondly known as Mullahs and Mulyanis. We remain ever grateful to these selfless individuals for laying a strong foundation and instilling religious values as the community grappled with its birthing pains in defining itself as a Koja Shia Itnashari community. One such figure was an illustrious lady instrumental in changing our perception of faith and who remains almost enigmatic in the records of Koja history. When asked about her impact, those who knew her chorused. She changed the concept about the majalis held in the month of Muharram. She made the member an educational platform. Born as Kulsum Ghulam Hussain Qasim Adit in 1899 in Kutch, she lost her mother at the young age of eight and later moved to Zanzibar with her father. Upon her marriage to Muhammad Jafar Jan Muhammad, she moved to the island of Pemba. Tragedy struck yet again as her husband passed on just seven months after the wedding while she bore her daughter Zainab, born in 1914. It is not worthy that as a child her father had kept a tutor for her, after which, largely self-taught, she founded a madrasa, teaching Quran, Urdu, Gujarati, reading and writing to the children. She also opened a night school for ladies of the community. She remarried to Abdullah Khimji in 1932, requesting her maha to be the payment of her debts and the permission to do tabligh. Thus, now she became known simply as Mrs. Kimji, to the many she impacted as she travelled to several parts of Africa reciting majalis in Kachi and Gujarati. Her insightful eulogies about the events of the day of Ashura became lessons in faith, and her reach became even wider with interfaith gatherings and Muharram processions. In true pastoral style, she was not only a mulyani, but also a counsellor and a matchmaker. When confined to bed because of a back injury, she compiled a book of her majalis and a book on the life of Sayyida Zainab salam, called Sharika Til Hussain, dedicating it to her husband. She was astute enough to use a pen name, Mahzoon, maximizing her chances of getting articles published at a time when it wasn't easy for a woman to get published in the Gujarati magazine. Mrs. Kimji, along with a few other women, established Mehfil Abbas in Dar es Salaam. This was a space for women run by women. They fundraised for the building and ran the building on their own terms. Each woman had a role to play at the Mehfil. The Africa Federation awarded her the Fatimi Medal, recognizing her services to the women of the community. Mrs. Kimji passed away on 18th Ramadan 1396, September 1976 and is buried in Dar es Salaam.